Okay. Can I be heard? Uh, okay. So, I've, I've heard similar things. I've heard similar reasons. Uh, apparently there are really fucked up microtransactions. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan of that. Um. Don't get me wrong. It's, they're not necessary from what I've read about them. But they're really annoying. There's like one guy at Capcom who's like sole purpose seems to be to to just throw in random really stupid microtransactions what people forget is that uh not just dragon's dogma devil may cry 5 had this exact same thing with like the golden skulls or the yellow skulls what the fuck the ones that revive you they um uh what's it called they made it so those skulls could be purchasable but yeah, it's very dumb. But this game has similar things. You could literally buy wake stones, which were the revival mechanic. I'm guessing it does the same thing. Um in the previous game. Woke stones, brother. <laughs> okay, let's, let's let's get into it. Let's just jump into it. Why? Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Why, why else? Money? Come on. Okay. I feel like... One second. There is... One thing I must do... Before we get started. It's very important. Before we begin playing the Dragon's Dogma, there, there is a particular <laughs> title song. And where is it? 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 I'm going to try to find it. Ah, oh, fuck. I pressed the start button. Also, yes, I'm going to bring the V2. For this one i have to bring the vtuber for this one it's basically essential at this point um how do you turn off the little cursor general settings there's a little thing i'm pretty sure you can turn off the cursor here is that okay there we go do i have this this little thing um Shit, I completely forget how to use this thing. <clears throat> Press the something button, lower right corner. Use game capture. Oh, okay, I'm stupid. It was really easy, actually. Barely an inconvenience. Let's turn it on. Alright, Koro-chan. Koro-chan has returned. There we go. Okay, how do I turn the background off again? <laughs> God damn it. Um, let's see. And tick the allow transparency box. Okay, okay, okay. Where is allow transparency? There has to be a thing here. Help, help me out here, chat. Where is allow transparency? I'm very good at this, as you can tell. Incredibly good. The best, even, one might say. Many people are saying this. Um... I'm going to figure it out. I'm pretty sure there is a allow transparency thing in these settings, right? Right? 
Um. Um. God damn it. It's got to be somewhere. It's got to be somewhere. Oh, or is it in OBS? Okay. I'll fix that. I'll fix that. All right. There we go. Let's go. Damn. Figured it all out immediately. It's so crazy how I did that. Alt F4? Fuck you, Grunt. Speaking of which, I actually used that to, uh, uh, to LB, uh, LB hack him up yesterday, and it, it actually worked. I told her the way that you activate the chat is you press Alt F4, and then the fucking game completely crashed because <laughs> we're in a modded lobby. It was incredible. Great stuff. Okay. Nice. Do you know there's an MMORPG of Dragon's Dogma? Yeah, it was a, it was like Japan only, I guess. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't know why. Anyway. Let me... This. This, this is essential right here. Yeah, the trailers are really good. The the problem is it's just um it, it just never came over to the US. There was demand. There were people asking about it for a while, like if they could be able to open up servers in the US for the game. But it just never ended up happening. It it just ended up becoming like something that just got lost, I guess. Yeah, it didn't make enough money to invest it in the West. That's what I heard. It got released in Europe? I didn't know that. The, the thing I really liked about the, um, uh, the, the Japanese MMORPG for Dragon's Dogma is they did a lot of stuff with the Rogue that I thought was pretty interesting. Like, um, what was it called? They made it so the Rogue didn't have a bow, and instead they had, like, a grappling hook, and they could use it to be able to get onto monsters and stuff. So it looks like they actually carried over with that. So they split the rogue into archer and and the uh, uh, and the rogue instead of just the strider like it was before. At least that's what I what I saw from the base classes that existed. Okay, I think I could change my display stuff again. Let's bump it up. Dynamic resolution. I don't want async. Uh, bring it this to high. Pretty sure. Can. Oh wait, I should use the controller. I forgot. Balanced. I don't know what that means. Probably do that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Why is on high settings grass and tree quality set to low? Is there something wrong with that? Ew, motion blur. Jesus. Well, that's awesome, Kenji. I really appreciate you binging my stuff. Yeah, Strider was my main too. I was a big Strider fan. Strider enjoyer, if you will. Okay, alright, now it looks better. Alright, let's get started. I played Fighter afterwards because I'm a really big sword and board fan. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. The game actually looks really fucking good. I, I heard um they use the RE engine for this one. Damn. 
damn, it's incredible. Like, you can see, like, the oil in people's faces and, like, pores and stuff, but god damn. Long as our favorite man suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. That's all. Sovereign. My word, such an inspiring message. I fucking love how they talk in this game. <laughs> I always thought that they were like... Tis betwixt, for doth sooth. Coming of the rightful ruler, A, eh? A-O. Yeah, I played the Magic Knight a bit. It's It was tricky, though. The Magic Archer was my favorite, though. There was just something about having a staff that was also a bow that I just really liked. Like, you had all the mobility of being a strider while having, like, weird stuff like... Chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be! Uh, there are hybrid vocations. There's also new ones. There's like some trickster one. And there's... One of the vocations reminds me of one of the ones in Kingdoms of Amalur. Uh, if you guys remember that game. Or it's a, it's all of the vocations at once. But it has lower power. Dungeons and Dragons reference? We're in a dungeon? I thought we were getting to start as royalty, but god damn, I guess we're going for the, the Bethesda opening. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. You can select a prisoner to use as a preset, or select the hooded prisoner to customize your character's appearance. From... Okay. Are you the one then? Oh yeah, you can be a furry in this one. No. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, yeah, there's a furry one. A lot of you. Or he's mentioned? Speak up, you good for nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Is it you? No? Ah, it must be you. You've got an arrogant look about you. Okay, let's see. Should I, I be a Khajiit? The one, okay, but cat cat man or cat lady? That's the question. If the pawn I'm looking for Or this other cat. Speak up, you good for nothing pawns. Which of you is it? <laughs> Keone installing now. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Due to popular demand, I'm a furry now. I thought I recognized you. Okay. Detailed customization. If this doesn't give me dick options, I'm going to be disappointed. God damn it. Only Baldur's Gate has the balls to do it, huh? Okay. Will affect the character's overall appearance. Proceed. Yes. Okay. Is there a Giga Chad one? Could it be like a Giga Chad Khajiit? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Stocky lad. Yeah, if the dick option doesn't clip through the pants, I'd also be disappointed. Okay. Oh, that's sick. I love this one. I don't even want to change it that much. Damn. Wait, oh, I have to go back there. That was confusing. They set that up. Okay. Um, head options. Head. He looks kind of noble like that. All right. Would you like to customize it even further? You can change the fur pattern. Oh, it gets thicker. So you can have thin or thick fur. That's kind of... Why did they add so much customization for the furry? That's crazy. There's like 23 different... Oh my god, there's like 30 different types of fur. I'm gonna go with the like albino kind of fur. And then let's see... Oh, you want me to go thick coat? Okay. I'll do the thick coat. And like really dark spots. Color intensity. Okay. I think that's pretty badass. <laughs> they understood the assignment. Okay. All right. Uh, confirm. Back. Uh, max height. I don't want to do that. <laughs> just, just a little bit, you know. We picked the we picked the Giga Chad size, so we gotta do that. That is a long boy. <laughs> Okay. Muscle strength. Does it like make him more veiny? Okay. We're gonna max out his gains. And then we're gonna we're gonna make him skip leg day. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> what, what's chat think about that? More? Or uh, is, that, <laughs> is that fine? <laughs> wait, wait, what do you think? I, I feel like you should put the, you should be able to put the, <laughs> yeah, the slider should be able to go higher. Yeah, you can get fucking stacked. And look at that, too. Look, when you increase the lower body size, up to about this point, it's only affecting, you know, the the, the calves, the thighs, and all that, right? But then, when you get to around the middle, it is almost entirely affecting thighs and ass. We gotta make him a little, a little, you know, at least a little bit, you know? Okay. 
posture. Oh wait, you can like customize how they walk? You can change the angle of how he moves his elbows? What the fuck? I actually like that. It's like, okay, it'll be more assertive if I do that. Okay. I like the, the ability to affect the posture with that. That's actually really cool. We could be Dr. Livesy. <laughs> I feel like he should walk like this. What do you guys think? Yeah, well, well, he'll stand up straight, but he won't, he, he won't do the, he won't be guessed on. Okay, there we go. Good. Head. Oh, you can even have the eyes closed? That's interesting. How do you zoom in? Oh, left trigger. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, you should stream the first game after you beat this one. Man, damn. That's been a while since I played the first one. It has been ages. I used to play the shit out of on Xbox. I think I did basically everything in Bitter Black Isle. Yeah, you too, Numskull? Okay. I'm gonna make my furry look amazing. Tip sharpness. Just the tip. Okay. I like these ears, they're really cute. He bad like that sharp kind of angle. There we go. Oh, you can make him floppy? <laughs> this is cute. Damn, it's been so long. I don't I, I forgot, um, Numskull. I know I did Damon on like the what was it? Wasn't there like an even harder version of it? To where you could turn it up even more? I, I did Damon on like the super hard fucking difficulty. a little bit of neck fat maybe okay I think it looks pretty cool what do you what do you, what do you think chat I have my very own persona <laughs> whisker position oh no way 
Yeah, it pulls the strands back. Yeah, the one with Grigori's head protruding from his abdomen. Yeah, that one was hard. It was like a third phase, wasn't it, to that fight? Damon was hard because I feel like he really did feel like a last boss. Another dragon was like a really cinematic fight, but Damon I feel like was like like way more of an actual like last boss fight with how it how it went down. Especially because throughout the whole game, you know, there's a bunch of different enemies that have like like different weaknesses and stuff. And when it comes to Damon, you kind of like you have to do a little bit of everything to try to beat him. You can't, you know, you can't like uh, uh, climb onto him for too long or he throws you off like almost immediately. You know, you have to hit him in those certain spots and whatnot. And then he's also really fucking fast. Yeah, that was a tough one. Okay. I don't know. I like this Geralt ass hairstyle on him. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Might be a better one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cause I, I wanna play I wanna play a rogue again. But I feel like I don't know, I just really like this hairstyle. And we'll do lighter tips at the end. Like that. Or maybe the other way around, where it gets darker and then it gets lighter like that. Yeah. How about that? I feel like he needs a yeah yeah he needs facial hair. This would be sick. Let's just fucking do it. Get to one eighty. Draw this back. That way I could keep that consistency with like the brighter roots. Where do those go? Oh, they get really bright. Okay. I love the customization here. Oh my goodness. Nose color. Oh, I could have like a little red nose. Why do I want that? Make it glossier. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Like that. Ooh, you can customize his teeth. You can remove teeth? What the fuck? <laughs> That's cool. God damn, I love that. Law color. Yeah, I'll do white claws. Okay. Or brighter claws like that. I love that you could change your teeth. That's so weird. Okay. Uh, he's a rogue, so he's got to be like hardened you know he grew up in the in the mean streets of Detroit I like this I like the little coil white or black on the tattoo 
<laughs> my shiny teeth and me. <laughs> I'll do the coils, maybe. Wait, I want to keep looking, actually. That's cool. That is fucking sick. I, I love all these. What's something that's kind of roguish? The spots are really cool. Goodness. There are so many of these. I'm going to put that hand thing. It was very dark brotherhood. I'm going to put that on his like chest or something. But yeah, the spirals though. I like the spiral. See that. We'll do the little, uh, yeah, the little arrows. Look at a smaller one. And up. Oh, you can make it more metallic? That's interesting. Horizontal tile. Oh, you can add like two like that? That's kind of interesting. Okay. Overall scale. Then we'll move vertical position to go like on a ship. And then we can turn it white. Maybe on his hand instead, then. Be black. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, like on his forearm or something. Little arrows. And then I could rotate it. Be. So the arrows are facing like that. That's pretty sick. Okay. Body scar. Oof. I have the little claw. Put it on his like like his back. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Need to change the scale a bit. That's pretty cool. Are there facial tattoos? Wait, fuck. Does that fuck with my tattoos? Did. No. Where's that hand one again? Oh yeah, only 10 days to the anniversary of the VTuber model? That's true. It's been a long road. Turn the intensity up. Make it a bit more metallic. Then we'll move it on chest. Yeah, like that. That's pretty cool. The spiral thing again. Right arm. Well, left arm. Arrow. Down. Drink it. Perfect. Uh, we need to do this bar. Body scope. 
back. Perfect. Wait, can you add a second scar? You can. Scar two. All right. What if I have like a little one? I could put like a little tiny one right across. Reduce the intensity. Or this makes it look older. I kind of like that. And we can decrease the opacity. Give it less sheen. Sounds glossy looking. And we move it. I like how that looks. We'll make the the other body scar look less intense too. Is that Merlin? For Merlin. I don't know if I want to do a big gash or like little gashes like that. I like the big gash. I'll... And decrease the sheen, increase intensity. That looks much better. Okay. I think that's it for body. See if this change, yes. Vocation. All right. Let's do Thief. <laughs> yeah. The greatest of all foes. So I knew they did this. I, I, I heard about this. Because this is how it is in the uh, Dragon's Dogma uh, Japanese MMO. To where the archer got separated from the thief. And that was originally just called the strider. And it was like kind of both of them. So they got rid of the bow on the strider and they made the archer basically its own class like they kind of blended it between the old archer that was the um the strider uh upgrade before so now arch is just like baseline okay cool the thief it is please tell me they get to do jumping around and shit Be a somber soldier. <laughs> Actually, this looks better on him. Rar. <laughs> I like this for him, actually. The armor makes him look sick. I love how this scale uh, armor looks like on this rogue. That is incredible. So I get to appease the scalies, too. While also playing as a furry. Go. Okay. Alright, name. He needs a name now. What are we going to call him? Personally, I think Sir Pounce is, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. How you doing, Insertia? Sir Pounce just kind of feels like him. You know what I mean? John Cat. I don't know how I feel about John Cat. Sir Reginald Nowsley. <laughs> Sir Reginald Nowsley is funny as shit. Mufasa? <laughs> I feel like there's like 30 Mufasas running around. You know what I mean? I, I imagine anyone who's made a beast rim pawn named them Mufasa. Ooh, that sounds delicious in Sir Shep. Awesome. You know what, Willison? You're gonna you're gonna have this one. I'll let you take it. 
No! Sir Meowsley? Okay. That works. And we put the, uh, the Reginald here. Come on, help me out. No. No, no, no. Fuck it, Ringo. All right. Age. You see, he's actually 400 years old. <laughs> Let's see. He 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 looks like a like a like a seasoned veteran. I'm gonna give him 42. No no no. Yeah. 37. There we go. Are we live right now? I ill like that. He could be 69. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural, seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. I feel like he fucks bodies. Come along, you feckless dullards. Don't be a feckless dullard. Oh, one of them are add- Alright, yeah, I got the special edition something. I don't know. God, look how I walk. Oh my god, the Chad stride. Look at the virgin walk they have over there. Compared to my- My gallant- Oh, damn. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. My gallant visage, my almighty countenance. He's so fucking yoked, too. Why'd I make him so buff? <laughs> the drip is real. Yeah, I got that prisoner drip. I got that opening hours of Skyrim as drip. <laughs> I like the idea of playing like a gallant rogue. That's actually kind of cool. You know, usually people do that with like paladins. Why is the music actually good in this game now? Your injuries pain you. Pray, do not overexert yourself. Wait a second, Rook. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> no, no, that's not the same Rook, is it? The Rook that's with you in like the beginning of the game. This is no place for one of your ilk. It is harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. Rook reference. For those of you who are unaware, Rook is like your first pawn before you get to make one, if I remember right. Who joins you early in your adventures in the first game. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Even has the same haircut. Never change, Rook. God, I fucking love him. It would be unwise to disobey. The overseer will show you no mercy. Oh, be to talk. What do you think you're doing? Get in line, scum. Oh, okay. She... What's that dude doing? Time for you to get to work.
Pick up a boulder. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay. Oh, uh, let me, let me talk. Let, I, I want to have a little break to talk to you guys about something. So when I first saw this, the lantern thing, the hip lantern, I thought to myself, damn, that is a cool fucking idea. I never thought about in D and D ever since every single time someone has like a kind of lantern in any of these games, hip lantern. That's what I've done ever since. Does it make sense? Maybe. Kinda. A little bit. Is it cool? Yes. Do hip lanterns. Just make it magic or something. I don't know. Kinda cool. Besides, it's a stupid fucking thing in like 5e where you gotta like switch off your hand and stuff like that. It's annoying. I want to use a hip lantern. Okay. Grab and release. Wait, can I throw it? Pick it up. Is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Oh, or, or, that poses a oh, I can I can leap while carrying this? Jesus. Not very far though. A job well done. Now the next step is to. Oh. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. <laughs> oh, someone's getting fucking killed. Maybe we should check it out. Oh. Not as stupid as the existence of Electrum? Completely fair. Oh my god! It's a Medusa! She looks so badass. That is fucked up. She doesn't even need to look at you. Oh, you don't need to look at her? What a pussy. Oh my god. Alright, it's my time to shine. Let's fucking do it. Wait, oh, first enemy? Okay. Alright, X the card. Swift strikes are a thief's greatest weapon. Watch for an open. Woo! Okay. Fighting wind. Okay. Getting a little bit of lag. Oh my fucking god, I love the attack animations. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to dodge and clean attacks. Okay. Swift step. Oh wait, the evasion thing is like baseline? That's cool. Grab objects with RT, throw them with RB. Okay, let's look for something to throw at her. Oh, ah, not that. Okay, I can still do that to climb. That's cool. Ah, uh, also that, climbing a monster. It is annoying as shit to me in D&D &D that no one does this. Like, that should be baseline. Something uh, I, I did a couple times in fights, uh, in some uh, games with my brother, because we usually mess around with rules when I play with him. Uh, <clears throat> we would make it so monsters would, like, baseline have resistance on hitting their main body parts. Like if you were just going toe-to-toe -to -toe hitting them. 
But then if you went over to, like, hit the other spots, it'd do more damage. There's other methods of doing that, too. That you tried it before. That were, um, like, dividing a monster's health bar. Between different parts of their body, like their wings. And, um... Claws, and then, like, where they breathe fire. Oh! Consan it! Kinda with Pathfinder? Um... I mean, technically, D&D has moving, climbing onto a creature rules in a 5e as well, in the DMG. The problem is, they're boring, and there's nothing you can really do with them. Um, they don't really give you any benefit. They just kind of exist. That's like a lot of the rules, like, I always have people say things like, Oh, but that rule that you're looking for, it does actually exist, it's in the DMG. But here's the thing, the majority of the time, yeah, it's there, and it's not fleshed out at all, and it's usually pretty bad. Um, or just boring, which is worse than it being bad. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool as shit. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it has the little pinions and shit too. Little feathers are like floating about when it's flapping. That's so badass. Go now, lost soul. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. It's not like stuttering, is it? Because I am getting a little bit of FPS drops. But I, I hope the stream itself isn't stuttering. Also, YouTube has this thing sometimes whenever there's like stream stuttering. Uh, if you exit and then just open it back up, it usually fixes it. Am I going to find the Sphinx? Of course I'm going to find her. Oh my god. Mommy Sphinx? Yes. I saw one picture of that and I just thought to myself, wood. So of course I'm going to find it. Oh no, they're gonna shoot us out of the sky. Oh, yep. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so good. <laughs> Yeah, there are frame rate dips happening. Uh, I so my my editor Cameron, uh, one of their friends, has a forty ninety Ti, and it's still stuttering with the game, and I have it on lower settings. It just has like FPS drop issues sometimes. It's pretty wacky. Popcorn, no. <laughs> we lost our, our griffin almost immediately after getting him. Oh, what the fuck? Keep your distance, or is it? Oh. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi, are you all right? 
right? What happened here? I can't believe the brine is back. I thought it was just a mechanic to be able to stop you from going outside in the water. Appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The I hope we can right, actually like back. swim though. Bro, look at his fuckboy ass haircut. Oh, what actor did he remind me of? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. You're my story. Sure thing, Justin with two ends. Unless I kill him, no. This will be a right mess to clean up. A right mess. Wait, switch weapon skill. Oh shit! Okay. So you have these two here. I got my carve, I got my twin fangs. And that's how I do my biting wind. It takes a lot of energy though. Wasn't there a thing with two weapon skills before? I forgot. I need to get better weapon combos. Fuck. These move fast. Derek Hugh. Hmm. I need to look that up. Oh, chest! Amazing chest set. A salubrious draught. Exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly nought like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. You in Batal? You've been estranged from Batal. Dreamwash. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Goblins? Fi! Goblins! Fi! <laughs> You'll be needed. Okay. If you find your strength, buy the curative or have a bit of green one. Oh, I could do like a finisher when I was on the ground like that. Okay. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of Mon. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't naturally heal. Okay, I need to actually recover then. All right, I forgot this is an RPG. Uh, I need to heal with uh, abilities, with items, and these are eggs. These. I crack them open. Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. What if I do though? God damn it. Were they laughing at me for hitting the shield? That's cool as shit. When enemy is flinching, you can pick them up with right trigger. Huh.
Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least... Okay, right trigger grab. And then grab turns... Allows me to... Pick them up if they're little goblins, I'm guessing. Because earlier when I grabbed onto the Medusa, it made me climb. Pretty sick. So it's just like before. For a fair amount of health. Okay, there's crafting now, I guess. Area. Two. I can't level yet, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can level yet. <laughs> Could she take you to Suplex City if you have the coal? Maybe if I go fighter, it'd let me do that, you know? Maybe there's more command grabs Welcome with fighter. Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Uh, it's so early for games. What's happening? Uh, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Earth into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Is it giving you stuttering? I'm gonna bump up the uh, video a bit. Okay, the stuttering should be gone, but and my VTube model should be like moving kind of smoothly in comparison. Do little movements. Is it smooth? Is it over there? Let me know if it's smooth. Also, open close YouTube usually helps. You now summon your main pawn, the loyal companion will accompany you throughout your adventures. What should they look like? Try to envisage their appearance. You can either begin with a preset or choose your pawn from a blank slate. Or from a preset. Okay. Alright, do we make a... We make another beastie, a little beast. What do we make human? <laughs> Give the cat man a husbando. <laughs> Yeah, give him the Thundercats. Yeah. This one will be a fighter. Okay. okay. Make him stocky. Really jolly looking, you know? Is there like a bright yellow? Okay. Yeah, it'd be like a cheetah. That's funny. Very large head type person. And we'll give him the stance. The Chad's giant. <laughs> Look at this dude. Look at this dude.
Let's go. No, oh, you're right. Cheetahs have a... Oh, what's it called? Pattern. The little uh, fleck kind of pattern. I love I love the way he stands. It's so fucking funny. Oh my god. Okay, we need we need brighter hair for this. Like a bright copper, right? Yeah, I love that. Max out the sheen. Make it all shiny. Okay. Button chops. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. The backwards. Inclination. Kind-hearted. Compassion, devoted, and dutiful. The most obedient sort of pawn. Favors a balanced approach with an emphasis on support. Quick to aid allies in need. Calm. Rational, shrewd, and strategizing. Pawn characterized by caution. Favors evasion and evasion. Defense and evasion. Playing clever tactics to survive at all costs. Simple. Curious, earnest, and adventurous. Pawn with their heart on their sleeve. Enjoys exploring, gathering items. Yep. Evacuated. The people here are 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 evacuated. There are more who can yet be saved. I'll do this one. He's like a little lion. This will be our himbo. Who will join us on our adventures. What should his name be, though? That's going to be the hardest. Yeah, he's got to be a golden retriever. Exactly. That's why we have the copper fur. Like the copper mane. And the funny little stripes. And his, uh, uh... <laughs> his incredibly Chad-like posture. <laughs> Theoba Theobald, yes. Wait. Damn! I was gonna put Theobald the Brave. God damn it, game. Come on. We're best buddies. We pawns are travelers of not only this world, but myriad others with which we can connect. He's talking about online play. As your loyal pawn, my duty is to accompany you and use what I learn in these other realms to aid you on your journey. I shall be with you every step of the way, and I hope to put my knowledge and experiences to good use on your behalf. Yeah, you may not like it, but this is what peak Beastrin physique looks like. The peak Beastrin form is this lad here. Oh, be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. He's metagaming. <laughs> you truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Uh oh. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie! This is all beyond my ken. One's lying. The watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? I didn't say anything. Mayhap you could make for Melv then. It was set upon by <laughs> the dragon, You wish you were your husband. Off. Yeah, our, our golden retriever, uh, a buddy. Justin does look like he has a podcast. 
Justin gives me a vibe like he has some very weird opinions about women on his podcast. You know what I mean? He just has that vibe. What do you guys think? I, I, I feel like Justin has some like very fringe opinions. I think Justin considers himself to be a centrist. And then he just says some like offhanded shit. The arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the Yeah, he calls them females. You be arisen. <laughs> I hope you'll recall aught of him there. And because we're a bunch of chads, right? This is only reaffirming all of his beliefs. Because like of course the people who'd save the world would be like chads. So, if anything, we're encouraging his bad behavior simply by the act of existing. We Affirm all of his biases. <laughs> he looks like he traffics women. <laughs> that is a wild thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Have the bridge of twixt worlds. Many great pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. Summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. They do not level up while they're accompanying you. You may find the need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Okay. Oh, I can actually make dialogue choices. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed. I still don't world. get pawns. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Yeah, a twixt. Left twix or right twix? That should be a dialogue uh, choice. It is the name given to fate's choice. Like, which one do you like better? Those destined to command. Like, do you want the caramel on the top or do you want it on the bottom? The world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape. <laughs> yeah, another multiverse game. <laughs> to be fair, though, this, this game did already have that beforehand, so, you know. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Okay. Let's examine. Womp. That is cool shit. Okay. Let's look at other people's uh, little dude. Wee man. Okay. Oh, he's like a dwarf. So Lena. Otto. I need a mage. Maggot. Amazing. Dante. Willow. She's pretty badass. Let's, let's bring her over. I tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident, and may act independently. Okay. Welcome aboard, Willow, to the Himbo army. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. What a girl boss. Okay. Alright, so you're level 8, so you're coming with discipline us. discipline your company lacks, I can provide. If we share our strengths, we can begin formulating a strategy that caters to our respective skills. You're a nerd. Okay. Welcome to the Himbo Army. Okay. You have unique pawns. There's official pawns? Okay. This, this dude's just named you. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Set a pawn quest. Oh. Alright, let's leave the rift. Yeah, what is this? Some kind of multiverse of madness? What is this? Some kind of Doctor Strange multiverse of madness? Okay. I probably should have gone with a, a ranger instead of Willow, but let's go double fighter. It, it could be fun. The two fighters, and then we got a wizard. I'll be the rogue. Mostly because I don't want to get shown up, you know? Party only needs one rogue, really. 
It takes a real woman to be a husband. That's true. Many people are saying this. How are things? How are things? You know, Zofie? Bad. What be your response? I was in prison. <laughs> they released me. It was all fa uh, false charges. False charges. I've got wares of every ilk. Brother's name is Montgomery. <laughs> Look at his goddamn mustache. If you see what you like, best buy while you can. How much for the mustache? I'm very curious. Okay. I don't have a lot of money. Okay, maybe we buy a little... Oh, wait, I actually have... Right? Why not? Oh, I don't. Okay, let's purchase some then. Pleasure doing business with you. The pleasure is mine. Should we see <laughs> Tom <you> Selleck? <laughs> What's he doing here? Discoveries await us above. Oh? What ladder? What are you guys talking about? Those just fucking chilling, I guess. All right, you do you, boo. Well met, well met. A trying time for merchants of any ilk. Oh, is she the blacksmith? Rusty sword. Okay, these are the base weapons. Look like, and I guess I could get different armor though. Oh yeah, look at that. It could be an edgy rogue. Dyed cloth mask. All right, let's sell some stuff. Goblin horn. Yeah, let's sell it. Jagged bone. And we'll buy. I'll buy uh some boots. I can't afford them. I'll buy a map. I can barely afford it. <laughs> okay. Much what can I do you for? I'll take on Tarkov? He's talking off right now? Escape from Tarkov? Oh, yeah, are you? you sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. Well, no one fucking asked you, Joshua. For the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Joshua, you and your great hair can stay the fuck out of my business, okay? Jeez, the nerve of some people. Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in the world. I recommend you rest at inns at regular intervals. You wish to insert the reliability of your save data. Okay. Got a rest at ends. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. You see, Miss Tiger Beans, it's not about being broke, it's about finding other ways to not spend ah, your money. Being you know? Is better than being see, I have 13 being gold pieces. Friend. Now, you Still, see... Nobody wants that. Um, but what they do want is a, a fat beast from cock. So I can provide that at the very least. And I could use that uh, as a way to finagle, lower the price of things. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. <laughs> Montgomery's a huge upgrade from Reginald. Yeah, Montgomery. What a name. Okay, fully resourced party health and stamina. Cool, cool, cool. Let's rest. Hear me complain about an early repose. What are the to the item storage? We access. Good morrow, everyone. Theobald, why are you so goddamn tall? Shall we get underway? Okay, Theobald level two. We're gaming. The quest list. 
So there's the commissary. We're at the lounge. So we're just at like a little. It's literally a border, like a a, a border watch camp. It's it's called border watch. We're running low on everything, from provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods. What with all the monsters lurking on the roads alone. With all the monsters. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and. I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. Glad to hear Well, it. seeing yeah. as I'm Take broke as shit, uh, I'm in, buddy. You ought to be somewhere north of here. <laughs> yeah, John Travolta, thank you for the quest. Yeah, no, and he'll take care of the rest. Really appreciate it. Do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty. Do not impede me, sir. Unless I am mistaken. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Oh. Oh, you're another uh, pawn. Okay. Um, you see, we're full up on Beast Boys. Oh, it was made by Capcom. Okay. Come. Well, I'll lead thank you. We have all we need to deliver, do we not? Let us find the intended recipient. A simple word of thanks would make our labors feel worthwhile. Wait, they talk to each other? Is this so? That's cute. She go. Okay. All right, Sarah, help me out. Wait, is she actually... She's giving me advice. Alright, let's go. You didn't have to lock everybody else out, though. That's kind of fucked up, Sarah. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now, and use them when the need arises. That's cool how, like, because she's higher level, she knows about the area already. All right, Sarah. Pray tell. I could do a Beast Boy band. That could be very funny. Just all beasts. Pray, follow me. Okay. It's cute. I love how this looks. God damn. This is a beautiful stone. Have you forgotten something or isn't? You're looking rather lost. Not lost. Taking it at my own pace. Jeez. Okay, more green wars. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Okay, well, are any of you going to tell me how to craft then, or are you just going to talk about it? Come, I'll lead the way. We've arrived, just as planned. That's everything assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. Oi! Did you need something? Provisions note. What Jeffrey? List of additional provisions requires. Okay, let's deliver that shit. This is from Sir Jeffrey, is it? Oh, let's Jeffrey. Have a look, then. Fine. He wants these. Fine. Well, see, I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. Am I getting paid for it, you son of a bitch? And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix? <laughs> yeah, Joaquin Phoenix is helping us with that quest we got from John Travolta. Might be such a thing. Really appreciate it. 
Really star-studded cast in this game. They're pulling out all the stops for this. No wonder they have to charge uh, uh, ten dollars for camp provisions. <laughs> Microtransaction. Oh, you do? I can guide you to the place arisen or thereabouts. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. All right, Sarah. Teach us. Is that a doggy? Is. Allow me to lead the way. I should like to put my knowledge to good use. Well, now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. Sarah, where are we going? At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Oh, wait, are they also collecting? That's kind of cool. Ah, ah, fuck, I slid off. Okay. All right, there is a, uh, uh, apparently if you're coming at an angle and you don't make the jump, uh, you slide. Our spud. <laughs> Fuck. This is going to turn to a hell divers moment with that physics over there. Oh, God. Is there anything I can do over here? To trip over nothing never ceases to amaze me. Oh. Validation's entry from Don't want me. These things happen. The items on this list can be crafted by combining certain materials, and I happen to know where they can be found. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? Well, now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. Oh, these. Let me see grapes. Got any grapes? Okay. I think we can craft now. We have to open this up. Should be something here. Items. Fine. Right? Okay. Barring error. There's actually a lot of ways to be able to make this hilarious work. Oh. Shall we report our results? Woo! We now have all of the requested items in hand. Let us deliver them to Sir Marcus, post-haste. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Okay. Right. There we go. Brilliant. I knew I could count on you. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Waking power. Making our report ought to be our next priority. Sir Marcus was well pleased, Master. Shall we report our success to Sir Geoffrey? If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take Oof. you to the one you see. Right. Well now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. You couldn't find out where to, uh, where to find that stuff? Well, good thing I got my high-level person here. Who knows the way? Isn't that lucky? Oi. Many thanks for passing. All right, John Travolta, we got your stuff. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Our efforts have seen the encounter. Woo! Level three. And Sir Jeffrey, with one less care, a good deed all round. Oh, I like that. 
Let's go. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. Hold out. Fancy a gander? I find good. Let's see, what do you sell that I can buy? Because I want those boots. Let's let's get I can wear boots now. Let's do it. Goods for sale. Uh where chainmail? Yeah. I can actually work. That's kind of crazy. I thought I'd have to wear like light armor. Much obliged. He looks like John Travolta having an allergic reaction. Using gold to make gold. Is that not a contradiction? You see, Willow. He's as you say. You're learning about capitalism. <laughs> see, we're going to put a lot more effort than that guy did for his own job. And then get paid less than he was gonna get. After you were risen. If you're playing at a risen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ear long. That's that's a mean thing to say. If you're playing. Can I get over there? Oh. Pardon me, pardon me. Woo. Oh. Oh, fuck. First possess the field. Hey oh. You a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. Uh, why is my character so thick? Uh, because he was gifted by the gods with a fat ass. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, cry about it. Uh, skill issue. Um. <laughs> is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. All right, we all find Lachlan. Accardo. To be honest, sir. I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? Five can't handle those beasts on his own. James Franco? <laughs> this is the first time hearing of him. No way, it Five. does look like him. I want to go to his aid. Like I said, star studded cast. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in? Is this James here? Franco before or after the allegation? Only a short uh, ways out from the uh, main gate. For dating after high school girl. <laughs> You've my thanks. And a card. Warning regarding quest progression. Okay. Progress even without your involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once becomes the risk of being unable to act in time. Results in unintended consequences. Oh, Baldur's Gate thing. We must fly to the aid of those in need. Let's up a card up before he gets killed. Sir Accardo is in need of our aid. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. Oh, okay, sir. Isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the Whoop. There are four commands that you can give to direct your companions. Okay. Go. So act independently. Direct punch spread across to me. They'll stick around you. Fight by your side. Remain where they are until they're given a different command. Help prioritize support, healing, recovery. Okay, cool. Ooh. Whee! Hi, both. Merlin. So soon. Look, Merlin. It's under the cat. Oh, seem to have come through unscathed. No doubt, this yeah, look. 
will spur us into the next. Look at he's just oh, bigger and stronger. And... <laughs> Who's this guy? There are useful ingredients to make should you wish to pick your foes off from afar. You need look no further than an archer such as I. Okay, bro just showed up out of nowhere and just fucking took him out. So, all right. Uh, let's see. What do I want to dismiss? Let's, uh, you know, Willow, I love your look. But unfortunately, um, yeah. This dude just, just sniped. <laughs> just sniped him out of nowhere, so. Like, give this item as a gift? What can I do, actually? Um. I'll give you a fish. Choose a rating. The heart. Our parting is come. Thank you for everything, Arisen. Another husband to add to the collection. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? Pray, follow me. We did need an archer. It kind of worked out. Berries? Apples. Uh, dumb. Those are not berries. They're far too large to be berries. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Oh, found the harpies. Bro got destroyed. Ah! Well <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> he just like it's dapped me up out of nowhere. <laughs> I love it. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. You know, Cardo, I'm surprised you're still fucking alive. Considering he got picked up almost like 20 feet in the air and just dropped. When he was saying he was paralyzed, he he might literally be paralyzed after that pretty soon. Uh, I'm not sure how good the healthcare is in Vermont here. you want Sarah all oh, right we're going the wrong way. fuck no you're right Sarah I, I'm I'm being misogynistic you're actually correct but I kind of want to explore this way destination in mind master very well I shall follow your lead instead perhaps the originals recalled some more pressing business fret not I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually okay fine I'll go back Yeah, being able to high five your pawns after a fight is fucking incredible. Okay, um, let's let's go. Let's go do the thing. I fucking love how he runs. Oh my god, it's so funny. Be a ball, please. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. It was a relief to see him return. Yeah, of course, James Franco. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. 
<laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. Oh, carrying a lot of stuff. Yo, we got money again. Let's go. Woo! Well met. Okay, let's sell some things. Let's sell some uh miner shirt, labor trouser. Okay, so we have a have a light load. Think I'm good? Feel like I'm good. Okay. Always a pleasure. Nothing caught your eye? Oh, that's a shame. Let's hope there's all worth our coin next time. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Oh, that, that, that. He's like tripping over himself. All right, let's go here. God, this game's fucking gorgeous. Look at this. This is beautiful, dude. Goodness, we're higher up than I'd thought. Just keep moving, won't you? We Get must remain vigilant. Whoop. Okay, good. Okay. Clamper on that. Oh, there is something up here. Nice. I actually got rewarded for it. Copper ore. Okay, going back down is going to be... Oh. Okay. Whoop. Woo! Hey there. Curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Ah, uh, so this thing's multiplayer. Um Kinda. So your pawns are like in multiplayer, but you can't join other people's lobbies. Can never have too many materials. In my I opinion, I feel like you should be able to play as your pawn in other people's lobbies. I think that'd be kind of sick. Right, not there. Oh, bunny. Goblins master. Shame I've no advantage against this foe. Are we all in the same boat? Oh, damn. Okay, vocation rank up. Very cool. What can I do then? I go to status? How do I... There's probably like a trainer or something, huh? Find it to make. Okay. Fruit Roborant. I should recover a great deal of health. Okay, that's kind of cool. Awesome. Hey. 
That's where I go. Fork in the road. Oh, right. Now, there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. Oh, that chest. Get up there. Someone saw fit to camp here, it would seem. A chance to recover our strength would be... Person has a, camp a camping kit to hand. They can pitch their tent by the remains of a campfire found at set spots throughout the wilderness. Okay, so it's like making a... Uh... Eat. Most welcome. Oh, camp. Okay. Make a camp without camping kit. Damn it! Oh, you have augments to your skills like baseline now? That's kind of cool. Okay. Except for having to equip those bitter black rings. I need a camping kit. We are none of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Another way through. Oh, okay. Grab. I can't grab. I think I can climb up here. What is that? This little cave over there. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Right, I'm gonna get that chest first before I get distracted. And there's another chest. Okay. Oh, well spotted. I'm sure my master would be astonished to learn this is here. Oh, right. She learns uh, from being a pawn from another world. My thief's like showing off. <laughs> it's doing like backflips and shit. That's awesome. All right. Let's get up here. And now I can get to the chest. Just gotta do a little bit of parkour. What a view. <laughs> I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. I knew it to be so. Ooh. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrill. Yeah, look at this twink. Items. I am confident and may act independently. Yeah, some dude just made Nero from yeah, Devil May Cry. Who's <laughs> Nero? No way. Oh no, look at that. Wait. <laughs> Damn. You know it's gonna be really hard not to hire this guy. I wanted to have the Thundercats going on. Yeah, I, I gotta bring this guy. I'm sorry, Sphinx Mother. Though I really appreciated his help. Okay. What do I give him? Let's let's give a let's give him a little jagged bone. Give him a little heart. Further need of a marksman. My bow is ever at your service. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. This is generally used as a material. Okay. Different combinations of materials result Now we have an army creations. of two oh bears, God. a twink, and uh, a woman derogatory. Um <laughs> hmm. 
It's Nero Deadweight from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Oh, uh oh. Sweet magic. Uh oh. Uh, we gotta get him out of the sky. There we go. Uh, Sarah, would you like to cast something that isn't a uh, uh, healing? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, use your devil trigger. Come on. Napping on the job. He really is dead weight, man. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. I knocked this over. There's, there's something right here. Look at that. There we go. Pick up. 420G. Let's go. We have money. Merlin just brushed against my leg. Oh. What the fuck was well, that? What might that be? <laughs> Haunted? How best to proceed. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Seeker's token. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out-of-the-way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall, and you will receive special rewards now, and then as your collection progresses. You must leave no stone unturned, nor corner of the world unexplored, if you would complete your collection. Ah, now here's a surprise. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Bunch of morning tide up here. Okay, now we can get to the coal chest. And there's just 1300 gold just sitting in there. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. Uh, I feel like that fall is going to kill me. So let's go the other way. Uh, I think that fall is going to kill me too. Uh... Oh! <laughs> yeah, it did kill me. No, I, I dropped 30 feet. <laughs> and uh, broke my skull. Nothing. Yeah! I, I think that killed me. <laughs> what a way to go. It would be kind of funny. Well now, you've a keen eye. And this is why I shall never tire of our adventures. That is the most annoying voice that could have possibly given Nero. Right. Are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. All right, there has to be another way down. Let's go look. Slide down here. Okay. 
Okay. That was much better. Far more graceful. Your ability to trip over nothing never ceases to amaze me. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. <laughs> now I feel a fool. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Undane camping kit. Oh. Oh, wait. This Horsebits. Oh, my movement got dropped drastically. I need a craft. Oh, wrong button. Tarring arrow. It hears the target explodes after a time or if attacked, tarring the target. Okay. Spend it when using tarring shot or incendiary shot. Excess oils and moves hard. Okay, cool. I need to wait. Pass this over. For average. Man, you really can't carry much, huh? Oh, it's is this. This is what's giving me the bulk of it. That camping kit. <laughs> Fuck Nero. Bring his hot dad out. Yeah, I gotta get the whole cast and crew, right? Of uh the Devil May Cry games in my my party. How do I knock that down? Brian lurk in deep waters, rivers, lakes, and the sea will instantly consume any water, anything that wades into their midst. If this fate befalls the Arisen, they will be revived momentarily, but they are the exception. Ponds will become forfeit. All other living creatures will meet an immediate watery death. Uh, all right. You're staring, Arisen. There's aught yonder caught your eye. What happened, and why did I just, like, massively improve my FPS? Now, what might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Oh, yeah, you can thank, um, a Shiager for the uh, VTuber. They made this a long time ago. Originally as a meme, uh... <laughs> it was an April Fool's joke. And then it just kind of kept going. Great model, though. Epic the musical. What's that? Let me get. I assume it's a musical. something over here okay so I gotta cross over here I 
I like how there's just like random pawns that like wander into you and they'll do the little little hand greeting and shit. That, that feels way more dynamic than how pawns were originally to where it felt like um, they were just randomly within towns. It was kind of sudden. Really, I don't know. It didn't really connect to me. Like with this, it, it genuinely feels like there's these weird people kind of following you around. That they'll even like assist with fights and shit. Strength. An endeavor to survive every battle by way of oh meow and defensive tactics. Yeah, furry lady. Uh, do I replace Sarah with her? I feel like I should. Replace the twink. He's dead weight. Yeah, sorry, Nero. <laughs> Consuming it increases the weight one can carry by fifteen kg. The Arisen's main pawn can also receive the same effect. Oh, fuck. This is, like, rare. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't, uh, use that lightly. Princess Harspa. I hand them a little... Whatever my heart. else might be said of me, know that I served you with all I had. Oh, it's a series of songs if based around Odysseus? Things, we can begin formulating a strategy that caters to our respective skills. I remember really liking reading the Odyssey. It was, it was wild. Bro just could not get home. Okay. So, increases carry weight. You can now carry an additional 15 kg. Alright. And Theobald also gets this. Nice. Wrong way. Oof. Oof. Uh, what do you think of the game so far? You only heard the uh, about the series a week ago and you went to go check uh, the Steam review. Everyone was losing their minds and calling it trash. Um, I don't know why they're calling it trash. I know why they're mad at it. Like, why they're mad is completely valid. They're mad about all the weird, like, excessive microtransactions and shit. I think that's completely valid. Um, the game itself, though, calling it trash? I'm not gonna lie, I think that's fucking cope. Uh, game's pretty amazing. And, uh, incredibly well detailed, there's a lot of stuff going on. The open world is fucking better than a lot that I've seen recently. The story's dog shit, though. Uh, but that's true of this original... Uh, game. <laughs> the exact same issue. What's new? Dragon's Dogma and an incomprehensible story. <laughs> Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. Oh. Yeah, that's why they were mad. The the thing is this though. He here's the thing. Um. And this is part of the reason why I, I try not to jump on to just, like, hate bandwagons for video games, even if it's a game that I think probably looks like shit, is, um, especially here on YouTube, there's a lot of internet discourse that is just, like, myopic. It's, it's bad. It's really horrible. And it's made by a lot of people who haven't even played the games that they're talking about. Um, this has happened with... What was it like the fucking pro like, like like the people who who sided with like the pronouns guy in starfield which made it so any kind of criticism of starfield too on the other side you know was was difficult to make because then it's like oh well are you siding with that guy and it's like no the, the game is like not good but also that guy is a fucking idiot you know there's a lot of stuff like that going on like i i can't even look at um game footage of, like, Stellar Blade, that, like, Korean, uh, hack-and-slash game, uh, without seeing, like, commenters from, like, fucking Asmongold, uh, who are, like, weird Gamergate 2.0 people who are obsessed with looking at the character's ass. Um, 
like the comment sections just filled with that kind of shit. Like that's why that's why it's like I I try not to even look at those discourses as anything more than just like the majority of these people who participate in these conversations don't even play the games. Like they just pick up uh, a fucking uh, uh, they, they they pick up a personality from from a fucking YouTuber. <laughs> And and get mad about things that they ne have no intention of participating in, um, in the first place, and I just find it really annoying. I've a selection of where Dudley, <laughs> what a mustache, Dudley! A makeshift jail key. Oh, thundermine. Yeah, it looked like it had fun combat. Uh, good luck having a conversation about the game, though. Especially on YouTube. Jesus Christ. Like, five seconds into the fucking YouTube comment section, you're just like, oh, God. I think I should buy that key. Yeah, it usually is something dumb. Looking to buy, just say the word. Pleasure doing business with you. Shopping is such fun. I hope our coin purse isn't too much lighter. I knew it to be so. Hast thou forgotten thy destiny, thy charge? Yeah, I usually try to give... I mean, that's just me in general, though. Maybe this is a flaw. I, I try to give things the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I literally played Metal Gear Survive with, with Cameron. Like, <laughs> a game that got completely dogged on by every fucking, uh, every single side of every single aisle. When it's honestly just about as bad as, like, something like Back for Blood. But it gets treated as if it's worse. Yeah, I, I have this problem with Mass Effect Andromeda too, because like, here's the thing. Mass Effect Andromeda has a lot of problems. But I really don't think it's like, like, worst game ever made or anything. Oh shit! Did I climb him? Yes, I can. Fall back. Oh, fuck. I have no stamina. I'm trying to get to the chest. Please. <laughs> oh no. Wait, my little dude actually fought him? That's funny. In another life, he was a fighter. Oh my god, he got blown the fuck out. I mean, it's not Grigori, right? It's- isn't it you?
Because you killed Grigori. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Damn, she would have been wife, but, uh, I don't see any fur on her, so that's not happening. I'm sorry, babe. We can't get married. You're just too ugly. <laughs> All of your fur is on the top of your head. Have you considered not shaving? How are you feeling? Maybe I'd be interested. Second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Your skin's too smooth. I'm sorry. It's not my fault you're ugly. Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that. <laughs> yeah, gross, I smooth her. skin. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon? I didn't do it because I'm into you. I'm sorry. I really didn't. Can you please stop looking at me with those weird, gross-looking eyes? Yeah. It. I, I, I can't stand the, like, the, the parts of your face that don't have hair. I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. Yeah, if, if my character ends up with her, she's going to have to wear a bag um, over her head when they have sex. Um, it's going to be very difficult. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Yeah, she probably used moisture. Oh God, don't don't talk about that. Oh. Does it have ought to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. No reason. Damn, game's really trying to push her as the wife character, huh? I'm holding out for a, uh... Oh, uh excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. A lioness baddie, you know? <laughs> Thank God the primate's gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know you guys all had to see that. That ugly, fucking disgusting thing. I'm so sorry. Um, the ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here. <laughs> God so damn right. <laughs> Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Lennet was asking after you as well. Sir Lennet? Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Someone must have the answers we seek. If we ask around, we might just find them. Ooh, I got another wake stone. Let's go. Say, do you think this one's really a risk? Oh, gifts? Tutorial logbook. Dozen people that are your adventure. The disposition towards you will vary, but you can increase their affinity for you by treating them kind. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're really trying to tell me to wife her up. Um. There's a ladder here. What do you arisen? I feel like I should for plot reasons, but yes, she will have to wear the bag. You know, I like her for her personality, not for her appearance. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Pass. Yeah, I don't know what changed between like an hour ago. Yeah, toss her a fish. <laughs> Please take my fish. Here, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna shoot a bird out of the sky, right? And then I'll give her like a dead bird. You know? I feel like human types like that kind of thing. Wait, I can actually use this? Oh, wait. Might I be of assistance? <laughs> no way. What are you doing? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> she was concerning me by jumping on top like she was trying to get blasted out of that thing. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh, that's far. Yeah, I'm not at you. Let's go back down. <laughs> there are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. No harm in picking a few. Well? You ought to not strain yourself, not in your current state. Those burns could easily have killed you outright. I expect it will be some time before you fully recover. Thank you, Smoothskin. Your efforts will be appreciated when the uh, beast run claim their rightful places. Lords, rulers of Vermont. You will be spared, of course, for a bit. Just for a little bit. Ooh, money. I just broke into someone's house and stole their gold. I hope that wasn't like their life savings or something. Suck. Lots to do. Will this take long? I want to be doing. You hear it in a ghoul voice? Hey, smooth skin. Fried fish. Ooh, fish! Delicacy! Oh, and someone's money. Tis a chest! Chest? Let's hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Amazing chest ahead. Keys to your bolt. Could pick a better mind than mine to solve this. What am I to do? You really ought to have returned by now. Is that you, Norbert? Ah, oh, fie. I got my hopes up for naught. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? The brave fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. They're not herbs, they're no herbs. The H is six. silent. I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... It is a dangerous place. I, I, I'm not afraid of monsters. But it would hardly help anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now, would it? So I thought, mayhap, you'd go in my place. You look like you could manage those woods better than I. Please, sir. I worry for my brother. Please you know, if you're so thanks. concerned about your brother, why aren't oh, you actually going point. out to try to help him? When you reach the tree with the bird. Ah, this oh, but I won't get hurt. I could see the I want to save my brother from dying, but I'm late like tired. Know it better than I. My brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing for it. I'll have to show you the way. Just oh, now you're going to go. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon's attack. I'll need you to watch over me. Keep me safe. You will, won't you? Right. In we go, then. My life's in your hands, friend. He suddenly steeled himself. To render aid to those in need. <laughs> yeah, if you love your brother so much, why you marry him? Uh, he, he'd rather leave him to die, uh, and then not, uh, 
send a random cat man to help. Mayhap you should speak with Selena before we depart. I don't want to speak to Sir. I want to help this guy find his dumbass brother. As a matter of fact, has it been so far? Oh, it's been a lot of fun. Master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms. You've given me much to think about. Theobald? You want a streak now? Is that what you just said? I forget if I caked him up. <laughs> My brother has a bit of an arse, isn't it? So, uh, brother's pretty far, huh? I don't like this place at all. Yeah. You know, I, I wouldn't like it either if I had to run all the way over here by myself. Or run right over here at all. Okay. Let's stop here a moment. I've camped here with my brother many a time. Oh, that's the camp. Okay. No doubt he caught his breath here before moving on. Same as us. Probably rest here. I did have a camping camp. What the fuck? Where is it? Who has it? One of you has it. I swear I had it. Did it get thrown to storage? I hope not. It might have gotten thrown to storage. God fucking damn it. Okay. Well, you know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you Sometimes you want to start crying. Follow me. We ought press on. Let's do it before my brother. Oh, I think I see him. Never mind, that's Goblin. Is a glad thing we tested when Try not to get a peek. Let's go out and see go to fight. Better at dodging. Pretty exceptional. Oh. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. <laughs> Maybe the brother ran off with the smooth skin late. Maybe. Possibility. Yeah, she she's not gonna take it well. All the horrible stuff I said to her. It's not my fault. Her fault, you know. She could have been born with fur. Just kind of like chose not to. That's the real crime here. I'm not the villain here. Material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Ah. Now here's a surprise. Okay, this is the secret token. The thrill of discovery never gets old. I shall have to ah, he throws mind. bombs. I love that flinching thing. This is so badass. Okay. Um down from there. We are none of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. I don't like how it's bouncing back and forth. Oh, oh 
Oh, fuck. I shall heal you at once. Wait a moment. I'll examine its contents, shall I? Brent Age Scrag of B. Okay, okay. Up to seven. That's a new looking chest. I'd cape. What is bro looking at? Alright, his brother has to be over here. Yes, Master. Can anyone hear me? Please! I need help. Norbert needs help. Shouldn't have that stupid fucking name. Maybe you wouldn't have needed help to begin with. Oh. What's the dog doing? thought I was done for. Ah, oh, it was a near thing. How are you feeling? I think I'll be all right. But if you hadn't come for me, I... Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother. And I ought to have come sooner. You know, like several hours ago when you left him out here. Yeah, you could have come sooner. From Just where a little I'm bit. standing, all that matters is that you made it in time. You were incredibly forgiving, Norbert. Anyway... I'm eager to be rid of this place. Let's return to the village, shall we? The sooner the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. Herbs, goddamn. <laughs> Hi, you'll herbs. hear no complaints right. from me. Let's be off then. It is our duty to protect our charge from harm. Wait, is this escort now? Uh oh. Shit, I want to keep exploring. It's a plentiful hereabouts. Right, well, Shall we go see back. if there's ought to be found while we're here? No, 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 Sarah. Stop, stop giving them ideas. Don't give the hembo ideas. He'll go off on them. You know, he's a lovable idiot. We don't want him to do things. It's gonna take time. Just want him to, like, follow. Wait, close. did he? Wow, Theobald. <laughs> he caught me. Theobald. You're my hero. Wow. That was beautiful. Man after my own heart. Fucking insertion. 
cool little spot. Baron Sen. There. What have you? I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. Yeah, let's leave the rift. I, I want more abilities. I see a lot of these guys have like two of them. But I haven't gotten a second ability. I'm excited to. Okay. So this is a Mungalo Garden. Yeah. Oh. Get out through here, I think. Well, that's a sheer fall. Okay. Not through here. So, Melv. So we can head down south through there. Look around. Whoop. For a second, I thought that using my uh, Biting Wind would travel faster, but it looks like you regen your stamina faster when your weapons are sheathed. Sir, Portly. Now then, which way? What are we tarrying for? Onward, our side. All right, cool. <sighs> Wait, where's the rest of our buddies? I'll leave them behind. Okay, I did actually. Early? Okay. Now he's catching up. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. I'm going to head back to town, and I think I'll pick this up later. But yeah. What the cat doing? Oh, uh, he was just patrolling. Skulking. Sneaking. Yeah, this is pretty good so far. I've been liking it. At last. That was an ordeal. I, I'm exhausted, but I can rest after I've delivered these herbs. I'll be back soon. <laughs> what does he crow just use a gun? <laughs> Is he stupid? Yeah, fair point. Good Honestly. Luck. Just take care. I never right? considered it. You wonder why I don't follow him. So long as he stays away from that forest, he'll be 
fine on his own. When my brother told me he was going to fetch those herbs, I refused to join him. Said it was too dangerous. What with the monsters acting strangely of late, and I was right. I may have none of this would have happened had I only gone with him. My brother is always the one taking the initiative. While I stand around with my hands in my pockets. But today's misadventure showed me that the path forward is the one with fewer regrets. Even when you can't be sure where it leads. We managed to save Norbert. And perhaps that's all that matters. Still, I can't help but wonder if I couldn't have spared him some of the pain and fear he suffered. If I'd only steeled myself sooner. So from now on, I'm going to trust in my own instincts. Never again will I let fear stop me from doing what I know to be right. I'm glad that this traumatic experience taught him that maybe if you have your uh, little brother go out uh, by himself in the woods after a fucking dragon attacks, then maybe you should, like, I don't know, help him? Thanks, Ian. Glad you learned a lot. R real character development. With Sir Norbert safely returned, Melv shan't lack for medicinal herbs. Two good deeds in one, you might say. There's an inn around here, right? These writings could be of import. Let's have a look then. What writings? Oh, I see them. Stins in. There we go. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you ready? <laughs> your instinct was to leave your brother to die, but go off, I guess, sir. <laughs> Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training. Which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Well now, oh. do you need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Okay. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades lack heft, though this grants them the advantage of speed. Like it a lot so far. It's it's been really fun. Um, it's taken a little bit to pick up, but the combat's been pretty good. I like being able to, uh, uh, I, I like the level and, like, depth, it seems like, th that's going to be expanded upon with exploration so far. It's been a lot of, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, the story's kind of eh, but that's literally... Should you dedicate oh. yourself to a vacation? That's literally the same issue the first game had. Paths to master will open up yeah. to you over time. Oh, okay. Try them as you like. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the mystical arts. Magic. <laughs> Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's literally the exact same thing that happened with DD1, right? Where, like, it opens up really slowly, and over time... Well, I, I know what all these are, so I'm just skipping until I learn everything. But yeah. And should there come a time when you impress me with your pride... Very well. There is no wrong choice. But I shan't take up it. The Meister's teachings. Okay. Here at the inn, we also offer Learned changes to get so few customers, you see. That I can manage both roles myself. Vacation guild. Okay, now I can equip skills. Nice. All right, this is the thing I wanted to get. Change at any time. Augments. Or skills. I fucking used to love Scarlet Kisses. And it is a base skill now. That is actually amazing. I'm glad they did that. So what, you? if you mash uh, light attacks... 
you just do Scarlet Kisses now. That's amazing. All right, tap A when you're about to hit the ground. Fall. Subtlety. Logically being targeted. Oh, never mind. The augments, these are these are like how the old ones work. My bad. I, I mixed them up with the... I, I thought it was like additions, like increases to your uh, weapon skills. Uh, I was wrong. Those to ignite, breathe in flame for a short time. They can also be employed in clinging to or pinning. Oh, shadow cloak. Okay, that's kind of interesting. How to charge? This was an ability before too for striders. And then Helm Splitter's classic. I love this move. Let's see. Yeah, let's keep him as a fighter. Strike. Airwood Slash would kind of be nice against those uh, Harpies. I think I'll do shield summons and arrow slash. Now, do I give him a perfect block or do I give the tusk taunt? Yeah, uh, uh, he is now Dante Devil May Cry from uh, crit hit game Devil May Cry. We could just fucking launch people in the air. Incredible. Enough of that, me. Did you need something? We must rest, though the sun is still up. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go, then. A new day, a new perspective. All right. Awesome. Having a lot of fun with this. Oh, wait. I need, I need to try it out. I can't see it. <laughs> I need to exit the house so I can see it. I used to love this move. If I remember, the higher you were in the air, the more you'd spin, the more damage you'd do. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. What say we gather some information? I love that. You have a better lift now from doing it from the ground than you used to. Before, you would have wanted to jump first. Let's see. That's awesome. I fucking love this one. I can't even think straight. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming by. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna give this a try next time. Uh, it'll be a couple days. Tonight, I think Cameron's going to be doing a stream, so be sure to catch that. We're gonna be playing Metal Gear Survive again. If you guys want to see me, uh, once more. It should be in the next four or five hours. So I'm probably going to take a quick little nap, pop open for that. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to get to the late game today. So be sure to catch that. Yeah, for sure. And if you haven't already seen their video uh, covering uh, Metal Gear uh, Survive, be sure to see that. They had a lot of really cool points they made. Uh, it was a really well edited video. Um, they really put a lot of effort into that one, and I'm sure they'd appreciate you popping on by. Um, they went from 
400 to like I think now 700 subscribers at this point from that video, which is absolutely insane. And I'm really happy for them for that. Yeah, what a life. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been really busy, so I haven't been able to do much like content creation stuff, so I've been trying to get back into it. So between um the streams in the past couple days with Cameron, with LP Hack 'em up and uh uh a couple other people I'm hoping to get back into it. Uh Crispy's Tavern also is working on a new campaign that I'm going to be doing an actual play uh, with him and uh, some other D&D people, some of which you might find familiar, some of which might be new to you. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy that. I got a new character. I might I might tease the character at somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out where to put it. Maybe I'll tease it to patrons, huh? I might do that. So if you're a patron, I'll show you the character art for my upcoming uh, Blood Hunter for that campaign. I was asked if I'd be willing to do Maceo, but I, I, I did it. I, I technically played him twice, even though you guys never got to see the second um, season of that. Second uh, uh, series he had going on. But he might eventually end up posting the rest of that at some point. Um, and because of that, I, I thought I might as well play a new person. Yeah, new campaign. Um, it's going to be another like 10 12 episode kind of thing um same as before yeah oh um let's see i think that covers just about everything never seen any of my characters yeah um if you want to you want to see it uh check out crispy's taverns channel and look for the playlist Shadow Over Kirkonos. Um, that was the one I did with him a while back, and uh, we're we're coming back for another one. And it should be really cool. Uh, like I said, playing a Blood Hunter. Yeah, Christy's cool. They post a lot more than I do. So if you're ever in it. In the market for RPG horror stories, and you don't see a crow video, be sure to check out Crispy Savern. I love their channel. It's a. Let's see, is there anything else? Something I'm missing. Am I missing anything? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, I have a. Oh yeah. Handful of Nerds, if you guys haven't already seen that. Uh, Handful of Nerds is a uh, show that I'm working on with uh, Latula Sings, with Auntie Haunty, who was formerly an uh, unimportant hero, and a couple other buddies of ours. Uh, if you want to see an actual play of us doing uh, uh, the Fallout TTRPG, the Modifius one. Um... We're kind of playtesting the system, so I'm allowed to make criticisms of it. Not the biggest fan of Modifius's 2D20 thing. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we had some conversations about it and what we felt about, like, uh, about the game system itself. And there's some really cool things that are going on with it, but there's some stuff that I think is like, hmm. But it's been a fun uh, uh, series of games so far. We're hoping to have that go on for... Is it a VAT system? I mean, technically, isn't that just aiming? If I remember right, back in the old uh, Fallout games, 1 and 2, VATS is literally just what they called, uh, like, attacking, wasn't it? Like, it'd take you to the VATS or something? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything. Um, we're also going to be doing a, a modded version of the Wendy's TTRPG there uh, because we're not big Wendy's uh, uh, fans. So we're going to use the opportunity to make fun of it. I'm also planning at some point to do an Imperium Maledictum campaign with those guys. So hopefully that um, gets in the works pretty soon. I have been pretty busy. I've been working a lot of conventions, so I've not had a lot of time. I think this is the longest amount of time I've ever been able to spend, like, 
not um, working, and it's only been one day off. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been it's been pretty pretty busy. Yeah, uh, yeah, Miss Tiger Beans. I've, I've been working a lot of conventions lately, and then I got another one coming up at the end of the month. I'm going to be working Sakura Khan. Fun. Yeah, um, it's a lot, and uh, I I do feel bad for for being away though because I like working on this kind of stuff, and I I was right before I started stream, I was working on editing audio for the next video, um, covering, I want to avoid covering the horror stories that I have on Reddit. And I want to cover more, uh, uh, stories that are being submitted on discord. So hopefully this upcoming video encourages more this people to want to post master. on the discord. It might come in useful. Thank you, Theobald. I really appreciate it. I don't even know what you gave me, but all right. I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. I appreciate his upbeat attitude. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Y'all take care. See ya. Oh wait, I gotta say the thing. Uh, I will see you next time as the crow flies. And yes, Theobald is hitting on you.